Hello everybody, Jean here. In this one I'll be showing you a huge opening or possible entranceway I discovered at a site in Protonellus Mense. The context camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took this photograph on the 25th of November 2007. Protonellus Mense. Let's have a look at some of the details. The spacecraft was 296 kilometers above the surface and the scaled image height of this photograph is huge folks it comes in at 212 kilometers so this is a huge swath of terrain that is photographed here so what's nice about this web page is it has a built-in or embedded image viewer so you can go full screen and zoom in and pan this photograph. So let's go down to the bottom where I discovered this possible entranceway into the Martian underground. So we can see there's this mound and then that huge opening right there. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. So if you look at the surrounding terrain there's a lot of these smaller mounds, or relatively small mounds, and lots of circular depressions. This is a very interesting region of Mars. So what I speculate is that might be an artificial opening in the surface, in a structure that's been hidden to blend in with the surrounding terrain. Highly speculative of me, folks. But yeah, let's go down to that anomaly once again. This to me looks very artificial. A pit on Mars is normally very deep and it's got steep sides. This one seems to have a ramp or a slope to it going down into the entranceway. Then there's this dark material. Could that have been ejected from this opening onto the surface? Let's take a closer look at this huge opening. So just briefly for context, we have Protonilus, Protonilus Mense and the site we're looking at is right there. At coordinates 42 degrees 6 minutes north, 56 degrees 54 minutes east. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies that are spotted at sites close by towards the end of the video. Yeah, we're looking at a crop from that photograph at actual size one to one scale. And according to the resolution for this photograph, that the, the larger opening is about 820 meters wide. So that's huge, folks. Check this out. It doesn't look like a normal pit that we see on Mars. We've got a ramp or a slope going down into that opening. And it seems to have a bridging part on the left and over there to the right. So what are the chances of this being artificial? To get the mound, could that be a structure that's covered in sand? And then that is an entranceway into it. 
Or could this possibly be a vent that vented this dark material onto the surface? There's an ultra close up look. So it looks as if this is a semi circular opening with this bridge or bridging part. And then there's a smaller opening over here to the right. Let's have a look at this site in Google Earth Mars. Heading up to the northern mid-latitudes to Protonilus Mensae. And this is where I found that anomaly. So it's in the CTX photographs, but at the time of this video, no high resolution high-rise photographs were taken of that site. So there's a brief look at that anomaly as the thumbnail that I added to that site in Google Mars. So let's have a look at some of the other anomalies close by. This is where I found this huge, what looks like sculpted piece about 600 or so meters across very symmetrical it looks almost like an eye check that out folks eyebrow eyelashes pupil but then again this looks like a huge boat very very odd very symmetrical as well I found this huge V-shaped anomaly in Arenado Crater. If I recall correctly, each side is about 80 meters in length. Looks very artificial as well. And then further down to the north, this is where I found this huge saucer about 300 meters in diameter attached to this oblong part. There's also a huge rectangular surface feature about 1 to 1 1.2 kilometers in length if I recall correctly. So these are huge anomalies folks. So what do you guys and girls think this might be? Is it just a weird pit? in the Martian surface. Could there be something more to this? I look forward to engaging with you in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.